Hey y'all, so I'm just gonna walk y'all through my 60 day walk by our planner. One of the first things that you may notice is at the bottom and each day there's a different quote. So there are 60 quotes in total. And this one it says, you may lose the battle of the morning, but don't lose the war of the day. So each quote is basically just to maybe inspire you, give you something to think about reflect on ponder over the day or maybe when your day is over you know so you can get inspired with a quote this planner is just like any other planner it has your date your to-do list all the fun things so now we also have online you know like what day it is you can circle the day the weather as you know mental health that's my thing i'm really big on that so you can circle your mood and then explain why, what's going on. Maybe you're stressed out at work or at school. Note how you're feeling. And also, as you look, you know, over the planner, you can see if things are like, if there's a pattern here, or maybe things are starting to shift and what maybe was behind that shift. So typically on a planner, you'll have a to-do list with the little check marks on if you did it or not. However, it has space for a celebration list. I got this idea from Kara Owl who writes down like at the end of the day all of the things that she has done because maybe you have not tackled everything on your to-do list but you can celebrate what you did get done and that's a mind frame shift. So I have space right here for six up to six different affirmations if you want to write down or maybe you see some favorite ones but the point is affirmations can help lift your mood and it can help you to replace those negative thoughts with more positive ones. Um, so you're exercising for how long did you exercise for? And then your type. So maybe you did yoga, maybe you did Pilates, like I love Pilates. Maybe you did bar, maybe you did a strength training day, arm day, leg day, what have you. You write down how long you worked out for, your type that you did, you can write down your your meals like what did you eat for breakfast maybe you started skipping breakfast and again started to affect your mood or you skip lunch dinner what have you you write those things down what did you eat and you guys water water is so important so you're tracking the water intake you're tracking your meals and you're tracking your sleep so you can write down what time you went to bed, what time you woke up, because maybe, again, you slept for two or three hours and it is affecting your mood, it is affecting your meals, whether you exercised or not, your water intake. Again, all of this is just really great so that you can see a pattern that you're grateful for. So you have space for four different things that you're grateful for and practicing gratitude daily, again, will do things to lift your mood and it will help you from focusing on so many negative things so you can just focus on the positive and your thoughts and reflections of the day what went well what didn't go well you know what things would you change what things would you not change maybe someone you know bought starbucks for you the person bought before you bought starbucks pay for your starbucks cup or whatever no maybe the person you know in front of you at Starbucks paid for your meal or your drink what have you just you can reflect on what happened that day maybe a stranger gave you a compliment maybe you made a stranger's day I'm really proud of the work that went into it and I really do hope that you consider buying it purchasing it for yourself to see how it can change your life